I'm John Falcone, senior editor at CNET.com, and this is the Apple TV. It's kind of like an iPod for your living room that you attach to your widescreen TV. The box itself is just a simple sort of 8-inch square, only an inch high. It's very compact and very clean looking, and it has a 40 gigabyte hard drive in it, as well as wireless 802.11n networking and video and audio output so you can hook it to a big screen TV or your home stereo system. Setting this up is really simple. You just plug it in, go to the right input, and follow the on-screen prompts. And what it does is kind of automatically log on to your wired or wireless home network and seek out uh, any PC or Mac running iTunes. One of the other big advantages of the Apple TV is that it has this really slick looking user interface. You pick the song or playlist you want to listen to, go right into it, and it starts right up. On your TV, meanwhile, is the album art for the corresponding song, and after a few seconds, it'll start initiating several screensavers. Where the Apple TV's real strength is, is in streaming video from network computers. And it's pretty much the only product in its class that can stream uh, purchased TV shows and movies that you buy at the iTunes store. Same for music. Going into movies, we see uh, two movies that we bought on the iTunes store, The Incredibles and The Royal Tenenbaums. Actually going into the movie itself is as simple as clicking the button. And if you've already been watching, it lets you resume and you're watching the movie. The Apple TV can also stream in real time all this content off up to five other connected PCs or Macs on your home network. All in all, the Apple TV delivers an experience that is about as close to having a big iPod hooked up to your big screen TV as you could expect. It delivers the same elegant interface and ease of use that you get with the iPod, but it does limit you to the media that you have in iTunes. I'm John Falcone for CNET, and this is the Apple TV.